Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Rapper Kanye West drops profanity-laced announcement in Oval Office with Trump. Media erupts. Nobody seemed to have a problem with the former administration preference of constantly hosting rappers and their wives at the White House, but when President Trump does, it's met with massive outrage. Rapper Kanye West didn't involve himself with Barack Obama the way he does with President Trump, who the left claims is racist. Disproving this false claim, is the surprising friendship between the rapper and POTUS, as Kanye relentlessly supports Trump now and in his second run for office in 2020. Kanye is in the White House today and a lot has come out of the Oval Office from the rapper that's even more unexpected than the unlikely friendship he's forgets with the leader of our country. As the most reliable and balanced news aggregation service in the world, RWN offers the following information published by trustworthy American news outlet, USA Today. Kanye West is in the House, the White House, to be precise. The rapper, who has become one of Trump's highest profile celebrity supporters, visited the president at the White House for a planned meeting Thursday afternoon. West dined on roasted chicken and fingerling potatoes over lunch with Trump, Jared Kushner, and Ivanka, fellow musician Kid Rock and Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown. After running up to hug Trump in the Oval Office, West told reporters that Trump gave him a Superman cape to help do good, my dad and my mom separated so there was not a lot of male energy in my home and also am married to a family where, you know, there's not a lot of male energy. It's beautiful, though. The rapper, who sported a red Make America Great Again cap, also reiterated his claim that they tried to scare me to not wear this hat, as he did during his recent appearance on the season opener of Saturday Night Live. West then gave a 10-minute soliloquy which he dropped an F-bomb, likened his rhetorical style to fine wine, it has complex notes to it, announced that he had been misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder and was sleep-deprived. Let's stop worrying about the future all we have is today, he continued Trump is on his hero's journey right now. He might not have thought he'd have a crazy, expletive, like, me. After he finished, the president concluded, he can speak for me anytime he wants. He's a smart cookie. He gets it, adding that West could very well be a future presidential candidate. Only after 2024, the rapper clarified. Kid Rock, another celebrity Trump booster, watched the president sign the landmark Music Modernization Act, which guarantees increased and faster royalty payments for performers songwriters and producers. The Detroit musician arrived around 11 a.m. and later posed for photos with White House adviser Kellyanne Conway in front of the West Wing colonnade. After the signing ceremony, he said, Everybody knows that this music of business is a pretty dirty business, but this is a great start to protect songwriters, producers, engineers, the unsung heroes behind many of these songs that go out there. Turning to Trump, he added there's a whole lot of people in this country that do give you a lot of credit for everything you've been doing for this country. We know that some people don't give you as much as maybe they should sometimes. This isn't the first high-profile meeting between Trump and either musician. Kid Rock visited the Oval Office in April 2017 and West famously traveled to Trump Tower in December 2016, where he discussed multicultural issues with the then-president-elect and posed for photos in the building's lobby. The White House confirmed that West would be meeting with the president with White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders saying that their conversation topics would include manufacturing resurgence in America, prison reform, how to prevent gang violence, and what can be done to reduce violence in Chicago. West's wife Kim Kardashian has also visited Trump in the White House several times, first meeting with Trump to champion the case of Alice Marie Johnson, a 63-year-old grandmother who spent more than two decades in prison on drug charges. After Trump granted Johnson clemency, Kardashian traveled to the White House again for a meeting about prison reform. West's visit comes after he deleted his social media accounts following his appearance on Saturday Night Live, where he donned his Make America Great Again hat to deliver an impromptu speech praising Trump and criticizing Democrats. West noted that white people ask him, how could you like Trump, he's racist. Well, uh, if I was concerned about racism, I would have moved out of America a long time ago. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.